I am gonna attempt to record and walk all at the same time. Baby's out on the field. Oh, he heard me. He still needs to be fed even though he's out with Bob. So let's go feed him. Hi. <laughs> Hello, come on, Bob. Foals are, hi. Foals are extremely social. Horses are extremely social. They love their herds. Oh, he's going to have troubles with his bottle. I'm trying to hold it with one hand. He sucks the air out of it. Hi, Bob. Um, you don't get mad. I'm trying to multitask. <clears throat> what I wanted to talk about was how social they are. And I've heard people talk about raising bottle babies and not interacting with them at all and trying to like keep the humanness away from them. Um, we have raised quite a few of these babies and the biggest thing I've learned from them is how social they are and how much they need to be around people all the time. They just need that attention. They are, um, they like to be groomed. They like to be with you. They like to have the attention. Like they're just babies. They, uh, survive off of that. So Bob, Bob's taking that role for us. He's a gelding, but he's really, really taken to Smokey. So he gets this constant her dynamic he gets the friendship he gets the you know the overseeing of the baby the protecting of him um they've been napping together they've been hanging out on the field they groom they are close to each other this is what babies need so i don't know if you ever are in a position of needing to raise a bottled baby don't just leave them alone thinking that um you're humanizing them too much it really comes down to um how we interact with them like we have to have boundaries we have to act like a mama horse and mama horses don't let babies bite and kick them and run all over you and you know be little tiny tears so you have to have really good horsey boundaries to them but bob bob's doing all of that for us he is taking that role. Bob's being a good boy. It's a baby. Let's get a good picture of him. <laughs>